Okay, chapter two, problem 65. Um, what we have here is a figure for the velocity versus time of a track sprinter in a 100 meter race. The first question is, what is the average velocity for the first four seconds? Well, at the beginning of four seconds, of uh, at the beginning is going zero. At the end of four seconds, he's going 12 meters per second, right? 12 meters per second. So if you average his velocity over that time, you take his final velocity, you take, you know, velocity average is one half of final minus initial. So in this case, it's one half of 12 meters per second minus zero, so six meters per second, right? So that's it in um, part A. Okay. Part B. Part B is what is his instantaneous velocity at t equals 5 seconds. So t equals 5 seconds is right here. At t equals 5 seconds, he's going 12 meters per second. So in part B, all right, velocity is 12 meters per second. All right. And part C, what is his average acceleration between 0 and 4 seconds? Okay. So part C, his average acceleration. So his average acceleration is the um, change in velocity over the amount of time it took, right? So this is V final minus V initial divided by um, the time. So 12 meters per second divided by four seconds, right? So we get three meters per second. Whoop. Three meters per second squared is his average acceleration over that amount of time. Three meters per second squared. Okay, um, what is his time for the race? And based on this, his time for the race is 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay. All right. Um, let's go a little further, given everything we have now. Part D. So we got his time for the race 10 seconds. All right. We know he goes 100 meters. So let's look at the beginning of the race, where he goes um, one half of th three meters per second squared right times f four seconds squared one half a t squared right his initial velocity is zero his final velocity um, his initial velocity is zero his initial position is zero so this is his first part of the race right that's the first part of the race all right how far does he go during that first little bit of race so one half times three times four squared is 24 meters, all right? 24 meters, it goes 24 meters. And then during the last part of the race, all right, he goes, he's going 12 meters per second. And he does this for uh, 10 minus four is six, right? Six seconds is 72 meters, okay. Um, well, that doesn't add up, does it? So, assuming that this graph ended, right, ended, his total distance based on this would be 72 meters plus 24 meters, assuming this graph ended when he had race ended was incorrect. So, we do, what do we need here? All right. So, 12 meters per second times time plus 24 meters, his initial position, needs to all add up to 100 meters, all right? And that means our time is 100 minus 24 is 76 meters divided by 12 uh, meters per second, oh, per second. Okay, 76 divided by 12, 
is 6.33 seconds. So, total time that he actually needed to complete the race was um, time equals 10.33 seconds. That's how much time it took to actually complete the race. All right, and that's it for this problem.